welcome to all so today we are going to see a concept called as forest plot so now most of the time we come across certain questions like whether can this intervention be made or not right for example can a steroid be given for this particular condition or not so this is the question one study will say yes you can proceed and go ahead and giving steroids but similarly there could be other studies which can say that no the steroid is contraindicated in that particular situation some other studies like a study 3 or study 4 the other studies can say you can give steroids but only to a particular population the other study can say you can give steroids but there are limited harm in that also so this kind of varied results can be seen when you analyze lot of studies asking the same question right so in that case to represent this collective data what you need to do okay so this is the question which is put forward okay so the same question you are going to handle by four or five different studies and you are going to express all the study data in one single shot okay so forest plot is meant for that for example say one study says that your intervention is favorable the second study also says the intervention is favorable the third study says the intervention is favorable but not statically important the fourth study can say that it can be harmful or significant sort of things right so just how to represent everything in single shot this is called as forest plot okay so when we come across meta analysis of multiple studies you will see a figure similar to what you see here in the picture so you need to understand how to interpret this particular figure okay so we'll go and set the forest plot so so this is the forest plot given to you hope it is easy right so what exactly means the horizontal line what is the vertical line what are these boxes what is this arrow why there is a diamond and how to interpret this this is what we are going to see so here they have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 totally eight studies okay so we are going to represent all the eight studies in one single picture okay so we are going to represent all the eight studies in one single picture that is the forest plot so first when you see a forest plot you will see something like a straight line the straight vertical line what you see here is a straight vertical line right so this straight vertical line means the line of null left okay so this divides your column into the right and the left right so here one side will be marked as whether it's favorable or not the other side is not okay so for example not favorable not favorable is this side and this side could be favorable that is your intervention is going to be favorable there is beneficial effect and this is not favorable so this central line is a line of null effect that is at that point there is either harm there not there is benefit okay so this is called as the null line or line of null effect so this central line is the first step as far as plot is so the vertical line is called as a line of null effect this line is placed at the value where there is no association between exposure and outcome or no difference between the two interventions under study you need to understand that relative statics like the or or the rr have a null effect value of 1 the central value of 1 but the absolute statics like ar or arr or smd has a null difference of 0 that is this point okay in certain groups you will be putting as 1.0 in certain group it will be paid as 0.0 okay so now we have drawn a central line the line of null effect we have drawn and we have drawn the horizontal line the horizontal line we are marking as uh, there is favors treatment and uh, favors control favors treatment or favors either way it can be so next step is we are going to draw certain horizontal lines for example if i draw a line like this and a box like this you will be seeing a line like this and a box like this sometime you will see a line like this and a small box like this right so these represent individual studies okay so the box represent the number of participants okay when the box is big it means that there is lot of number of participants when the box is very small it means that there is limited number of participants in that particular study okay so the horizontal line represents the conference interval that is 95% of conference interval that can be associated only with the small line itself that is within a small window you will be able to accommodate your 95% conference interval the number of population when the box size increases this horizontal line there is a conference interval line decreases okay similarly when the box size is very small the conference interval line also extend 
okay so this is the next step you need to learn so first we have drawn a null line then we have drawn a horizontal line the null line is the point where there is neither benefit nor a difference so after this we are going to represent each and every study for example my study population the first study population had 100 people so i draw a small box and the conference interval is with 95 percent conference interval i get a horizontal line the next study has a total number of participants as 500 so the box is going to be pretty large right compared to 100 500 box should be pretty large so when I draw a bigger box, it means that the line for conference interval is going to be comparatively small, okay. So my next study has a, a total number of participants as only 50. So the box is going to be a little small, okay. And the conference interval line is going to be larger than the other two. So smaller the box, larger the line, okay. Larger the box, smaller the line, the conference interval line, okay. So this is how I'm going to represent my studies, okay. This is the second one. 